First, the police department, now the city of Pontiac, is looking like it will lose its own fire department. Yeah, firefighters in Pontiac voted yes to agree to be laid off under terms and conditions set forth in an agreement by the city's emergency manager. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell is live for us this morning. Kim, when will all of this take place? When will Waterford actually take over? The date, Mary, is February 1st, and what we're told by Waterford Township fire officials is that three of the five fire stations in Pontiac will remain open, serving people in Pontiac. However, what's not clear is who exactly will be working there. Pontiac firefighters are not guaranteed jobs at those fire stations. Now, they tell Seven Action News that they voted yes to agree to be laid off under terms set forth in an agreement put together by Pontiac's emergency manager. The decision, they say, was a tough one, though many wanted to vote no because they believe this is a bad move for the city, that it will affect public safety. But they say they were told either you vote for this and you might get hired by Waterford, or you vote no and you're out of a job. It passed by majority rule. It was a very tenuous situation. Uh, this has been very uh, stressful for all of our guys and our family members as well. Now, Pontiac's emergency manager said that he had approval from the governor to move forward with dissolving the fire department, whether firefighters approved it or not. So they say they really had no choice. Now they just have to apply for jobs at Waterford and see what happens. Live Kim Russell, 7 Action News. Hopefully it'll turn out for the best. Thank you, Kim. Here's a little more information for you. There are 57 firefighters currently employed in the Pontiac Fire Department. Waterford Township could hire up to 40 of those firefighters. Some of the remaining firefighters may be offered early retirements.